Hey guys, welcome to JPT. I'm Carson G, and this is Just Plain Tech. In today's video, we're going to flash an operating system onto a flash drive so we can then install it on a computer. We're going to do this using a software called Etcher. Let's begin. As you can probably imagine, we're going to have to hop on our computer to do this. So you can go to the Etcher website, or you can just type in Etcher in your Google search and just click the first link. Now if you go down, you will see all of this. Since we are using Linux, we're going to want to keep going down. And if you're using Red Hat, CentOS, or Fedora, you'll click this link. If you're using Debian, Ubuntu, Linux, Mint, you're going to click this link. And in that case, we're using Debian, Ubuntu, or Mint. So I'm going to click that link. Technically, this is Peppermint, but it's based on Ubuntu. So it will work. Here we are. And it may bring you here for a sec, and then it should bring you down here and we're gonna have to paste all these commands into our terminal so let's just get our terminal ready you can if you have a shortcut down there you can use that or you can click control alt t so we're just gonna triple click this first command right here right click it then copy now if we go to our terminal we can paste that command right in and we'll probably have to enter our password Okay, now we're going to minimize that window and we're going to copy the second command. As you can probably imagine, we're going to paste it in our terminal. While that's doing its thing, we can minimize that and we can copy the last command. Skip this command because we can just type that in ourselves. This should be done in just about any minute. All right. Now we're going to type in sudo apt hyphen get update. And that will update the repositories of our Linux machine. Alright, now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and paste in that last command that we copied. The install command. and after that I'll show you what to do from there and that's done so we can go ahead and type in exit in our terminal or you can just click that X button on the top right corner we can do the same thing with the browser now if we go to our menu we're going to type in etcher I didn't even have to finish typing it, it just shows up and we're going to open etcher for this step, make sure that you have your ISO file or whatever image you want to burn and your flash drive or SD card plugged in. Just make sure that whatever you have plugged in, your SD card, your flash drive, will be completely wiped. All data will be gone. Make sure you don't have any important data on your flash drive or SD card before you burn the image to it. Okay? In this method, I'm going to be using a flash drive, but it will also work with an SD card if you're going to put it in products such as the Raspberry Pi. If you're going to do it on a normal computer, just do a flash drive because not every computer can boot from an SD card, but pretty much any computer can boot from a flash drive. With that being said, we're just going to go ahead and click flash from file right here. This should open up a file window. And in this example, I'm going to burn Puppy Linux 32-bit. So I can just open that. And now it's going to want us to select our target. So we'll go ahead and select that target. And mine is right here. Generic flash disk, 4 gigabytes. That's the thing I'm going to use. 
and we can just click flash it's going to ask us for our password real quick there we go that easy you have successfully burned an image to your flash drive and or SD card great job guys I'll see you in the next video thank you guys so much for watching this video please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below if you haven't already I'll see you next time.